Well, Austin police also sent out this video. They're searching for a driver in a road rage incident in late March. A patrol car's dash camera showed a Lexus swerve off Mopac northbound onto the highway 183 ramp. If you know who was in that Lexus, Austin police would love to hear from you. After seeing a couple of reports like that, we checked with law enforcement, both Austin police and the Department of Public Safety, tell us aggressive driving is on the rise. KXAN's Blake Devine talked with a couple of victims of road rage on the search for what to do if you become a target of road rage. Police say that this collision is the culmination of a highway fight. Just another example of road rage on the rise. With the increased traffic, we are seeing more incidents of people being aggressive on the road. The first time I saw him on the camera was right there. Jerry Wiggins was the target of one on I-35. He decides to go by me and I think he's going to pass me, but instead of passing me, he, uh, he takes the front of his car and he rams it into the back right rear uh, wheel of my car. Jerry guys, called the cops and the man was ticketed for reckless yeah. driving. He, he believes that these types of dangerous drivers need to be removed from the roads. I want to see the police department and the district attorney's office move forward and try to get these people off of the streets. And it's not just Austin. So this is the bullet hole. Saturday on I-35 in Georgetown, a man said someone shot at his son with two small children in the back seat. He pulled up next to him and put his window down and pointed a gun and shot and uh, the bullet actually went through the uh, passenger side rear door um, right basically where my two-year-old grandson was. Luckily, nobody was hurt. My grandson's uh, car seat. But Sean says his son was shaken up and his eight-year-old granddaughter doesn't want to ride in the car anymore. It's a powerful reminder for, for myself in traffic that, you know, if something happens, if somebody's driving aggressively, I just need to really not pay attention to it and ignore it. The Texas Department of Public Safety says that's good advice. They also say you should try to get a make, model, and license plate before dialing 911. They're also offering this warning. If you do cause a crash and you are driving aggressively or recklessly, it could be serious fines or even jail time. Blake Devine, KXAN News. To avoid taking trips in a rush or hurry, troopers also advise people to prepare for their routes in advance and take their time on the road. If you find yourself in a tense situation on the road behind the wheel, avoid potentially making the situation even worse. Slow down, get away from the aggressive driver, use your horn sparingly, and avoid rude gestures or yelling. And never confront another driver. Stay in your car, call police, but do not engage the other driver that will just make it worse.